Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a Subnautica gaming test on this Asus TUF Gaming F15 laptop. First, let's take a quick look at the graphics settings. So over here in options, then graphics, we have the high preset, and I'm going to scroll through so you can pause and read. Okay, then I'm going to create a new game over here. Let's press play, start new game, survival. Add some volume. Okay. Let's see how fast it loads. And there we go. I'll leave the specs of this laptop in the description. Okay, let's start. Are you seeing sure? Now one thing I noticed is the speakers of this laptop aren't that loud. So I'm going to connect this Bluetooth speaker so we'll have better sounding audio. Let's do some swimming and see. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just decreased to unlikely but plausible. So far, the gameplay is pretty smooth. Check this out. We have high refresh rates. Oxygen. Whoops, oxygen. And the graphics are also pretty good. Repair. Here's a CMOD so we can test out the graphics while driving or I guess sailing. Well, I mean, it's submarine, so I'm not sure what word to use, but anyway. Let's pack this up. There we go. Get into our CMOD and test it out. Welcome aboard, Captain. Here's the CMOD. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna build a habitat to see how well it performs. Oh no, oxygen. Let's swim the surface. Okay. And so far, I'm pretty impressed by the performance of this laptop. Okay, I've been playing Subnautica in creative mode for a while and I built this tiny habitat over here. So check this out, we have some cool views over here and the nuclear reactor. Now so far, everything is very playable on this laptop. So I had no issues so far. Let's go ahead and go out here and build a cyclops so you can see. All of the buttons are very responsive and the laptop isn't even that warm. So the only place that kind of gets a bit warm is over here by the exhaust vents. So let me show you what I mean. Let me just open my curtain. There we go. So, this area over here on the right gets a bit warm since the hot air goes out over here. And the only issue is if you're using a mouse, then you might feel the heat a tiny bit. But you can easily reposition your hand and move it away so that the heat doesn't really hit you. Then, this is vent over here at the back. But the vent at the back isn't really a big issue since it's facing away from you. So no worries over there. And take a look at the graphics, it's very good. These are already the maximum graphic settings available. Let's deploy the mobile vehicle bay. And build a cyclops. Now typically, when you play Subnautica, you have to gather all the resources by yourself. But I applied some settings, so that's like creative mode, and I can build anything I want without gathering the materials. So that way I can speed up the testing process. Okay, here we go. We have a Cyclops. So everything loads really well. Look at the graphics. Let me go over here into the options. And we can also go over here and add some color grading. So it's on filmic right now. And there are a few different options. Like off, this is what it looks like. Neutral or filmic. And like the filmic, it almost looks like a movie. Back to game. Let's boil the Cyclops. And do some testing. So very smooth. Start the engine. Engine powering up. In fact, emergency speed. Warning. Vessel counted. Excessive noise. Okay, let's lock the C-Mod into the Cyclops. There we go. And park next to the tiny habitat I built. Added flight, emergency speed, warning, vessel counted, excessive noise. Whoops. What engine overheat? The head stand. So 
So there we go. That's a quick gaming test on Subnautica. And based on my testing, it can easily play this game on the highest settings. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. And feel free to leave a comment if you have any more ideas on what to test on this laptop. Please like and subscribe for more. And also support the channel. So, thanks for watching.